Hello, my mystic tribe. This is your daily reading for June 14th, 2021. This is a general read. This may or may not be your story. So take it as it resonates. It, it resonates it all. Okay. Timing is fluid also, and roles can be vice versa. Now, I do want to say that I got some general energies when I'm sitting here shuffling and thinking about the reading. That, you know, I think there's somebody trying to manifest a new start, a new beginning. <clears throat> Somebody's going down a new road. And somebody is ready to take action. They're ready to start something new. They're ready to write their next chapter of their life. Okay. So, let's go ahead. We are going to get into your reading. Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a change, a big change. It's a turning point. The Strength card. This turning point is going to take some courage. That's what I'm being told. We have Sagittarius energy. We have Leo energy. And we have the star card, Aquarius energy. This is not a small change here. This is something huge. And this is the energy that I felt. Okay. There is some divine guidance in here. The divine is involved. The divine is helping to create this change. The universe sees somebody's desires sees your desires they see the angels see what you've gone through <clears throat> and where you want to be you know the divine says that he will help those that help themselves and i feel that that is this uh, this energy here finding the strength and courage and the willpower to Embrace this change. There is a turning point. And this is what somebody was looking for. She's looking at this lion and she's... This is like... Taming... I'm hearing taming the beast within. I don't know who that message is for. But I just heard taming the beast within. It's almost like... Somebody wants change so bad that they're willing to go off half-cocked, you know, that old saying. But I feel that there's a little bit of willpower here. Of the divine, I'm hearing divine timing is at play. And somebody's wishes that they've put out into the universe is about to manifest itself. <clears throat> This is the big scheme of things. This is the long-term goals. That somebody is in the process of going down this new path of manifesting this. Somebody's manifested this change. And the universe is answering. The universe is bringing about this change. Six of Cups. This could involve children. This can involve Past loves, childhood loves, childhood friendships. The Six of Cups is a stroll down memory lane Some for some. Some people may be looking at where they've come from or looking at a past. A time, a, I feel like reflecting on a period of time that was happy, blissful, harmonious. Six is spring harm harmony. Six is spring healing and balance. <clears throat> you know, there, the divine could be bringing two people together from the past. Now, this doesn't have to be even in this life. There may be somebody that you feel very connected to. That you might have a past life connection or a deep spiritual connection with. Lovers. 
<clears throat> this is definitely a spiritual connection. The divine are bringing two counterparts together. The divine masculine, divine feminine. This is a soulmate connection, my friends. I, could, I can't make this up. There is a soulmate connection that is coming together. Queen of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got Gemini here. Doesn't have to be those signs. It could, it could be simply somebody has a placement in their chart, a planet in one of these signs or something like that. But the Queen of Swords is somebody who is no nonsense. She is definitely, she's made up her mind. She's somebody who has been scorned. She's somebody who's been hurt, who has almost shut down emotionally. Or I should say, but not, not really shut down, but buried her emotions, doesn't express her emotions, very intellectual. <clears throat> but I think that there is a turning point in this woman's life. Now, since we don't usually read gender, it could be man or woman. I'm just reading it, the face value of the cards. So if you are a man, you could have feminine energies, or you could just be having that energy of this Queen of Swords. But she is looking off into the future. She is planning. So somebody, So this is like planning for the future and... Somebody has some really big plans. She may even be writing down her wishes, her prayers to the universe. And she's that is she's taking action in that sense of writing them down and really concentrate on manifesting them. Manifesting her true love. She wants her true love. She's very, very, being very strategic on how she's going to get her true love. Under the deck, we have the death card. This is screaming past life connection to me. Okay. And we have Scorpio energy. We got temperance, more Sagittarius energy. Angels are involved. Balance and harmony. Healing. This may be a healing of a karmic situation. There we have justice. Justice is about karma. Justice is, she's setting the record straight. Libra energy. You got so many major arcana cards here that, you know, this is a huge major life change. This is like, I want to say a twist of fate. Wow. This is a twist of fate happening here, folks. Absolutely. It's, it's like between these two people, something is balancing out. I keep being drawn to this angel and the star. Heaven is bringing you guys together. You may or may not already know this person. In this life. But your souls know each other. Commands are called to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. So I feel like. <clears throat> there is action. That is occurring. Action being taken. Your souls are moving towards each other. Ca through the cosmic gateway. There is a door opening for you. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are coming. 
Wow, that is powerful. That's what I was saying. Because I, when I, I saw the magician card. And the magician card is manifestation. Taking action. There is a huge, huge change occurring for you guys. Huge. Whoever this is for. This is a true divine soulmate connection. With this death card, um, the universe is drawing me back to it. The death card is talking about this past life connection, like I said. That death do you part. Death separated you guys in a previous life. But there's something being reborn out of this death. You know, you're, the death was only temporary. It was a transformation. A transition. Opening up. This is opening up the spirit. This is opening up for new possibilities. You may have felt helpless, hopeless, aimless. Okay. But there's this, everything is changing for you. And after feeling hopeless, you've opened up to the pot, new possibilities. Out of feeling aimless and feeling trapped. And there, you're new vitality, this new breathing, new life into your situation and manifesting. I saw the magician when I was shuffling the other deck, and here the magician's making an appearance again. You have manifested your true soulmate, and they are coming. Okay, well, that's what I have for you, my lovelies. Again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. And I will see you next time. Blessed be.